Okay, the first thing is, this is not actually about real estate in the sense of giving you a home, uh, but literally how somebody can take one from you. Um, I was watching the Philippines journey this this afternoon, and he put, made a video relating to somebody that's just been uh, ripped off. Ripped off, probably been more suiting, I don't know the ins and outs of it. But... The house is owned by a woman. The guy's spent a lot of money renovating in it, and he's no doubt probably been paying the instalments for however long on the actual house. The last payment's just been made, and the woman sold the house. The guy's back in the US currently getting some medical treatment or something, and she sold the house and disappearing off to Zambonga. Zambonga, that place that I recommend people avoid. Um, here's the reality of it. She owns the house 100%. Um, you could try and take it to the courts and try and get some back, but the first thing you've got is she's already married. Second thing is the fact that Philippines Journey knew she was married quite quickly tells me that either Philippines Journey did the investigation quite quickly to find out their background on the woman, and it was so readily available it took no time at all, which in 9 times out of 10 cases is actually true. Um, because neighbours and friends and family will tell you, she got married in 1987, whatever. Um, they will give you that information freely. Or, the guy already knew she was married and still went with her anyway. Being, going with married women is always complicated. There's always a risk of somebody coming back and going, get my shoes uh, shoes off and put my slippers on. I'm going to sit, sit in my uh, chair and watch my TV that was all paid for and they moved back into the house you paid for um, with their wife. Um, <laughs> it's not the first time I've seen it. In fact, I've seen it five times in the Philippines. Five times where people have actually invested in another man's wife and eventually lost everything. Um, it's why I say you should always check the person out. And if there sounds like there's a lot of stuff that just don't add up, walk away. There's plenty of women out there that haven't got all that baggage, haven't got all the, the risks with them. <coughs> At the end of the day, if you're going to retire in the Philippines, a lot of the time you cannot afford to have somebody rip you off with everything you own. Also, the investment in it. Um, you don't want to go back to square one, where you've got your lump sum, or you spent the last five, ten years building up this nice house and everything else in the Philippines, to say, right, I'm going to go there. And, Hang on a minute, what do you mean she sold the house? Um, you don't want it. It's not, <laughs> it's not what retirement's about. So... My best advice is just don't get into these situations in the first place. Easy advice, I know. Um, first thing I would say is I'm going to put a link to another video here about how to do private investigation checks um, for those that are interested. I don't know enough about the actual company. I've just been sent the information that they do actually do checks for the Philippines. So just take a look if it's something for you have a go if it's not don't bother um, but I just wanted to put it out there to see if anybody would... if you do use it let me know second thing is try not to get involved with married women wherever possible it's always complicated and if you come up to retirement you don't need the complications in your life thirdly ex-husbands can smell money even um, even from a scenario where they separated a long time ago when there's a potential to gain money from you they can reappear um, even if it's just a cash payoff to disappear back into the wilderness but they'll be, they'll be surface every time they run out of money it's just not worth the aggravation and I know people go but I love her I love her yes but you'll find somebody else you love just as much and just give it six months um, just don't get in these complicated situations um, what was the other thing I wanted to say about this oh it's not just the Philippines I'll give you an example of Rick the Brick um, that's not his real name his name is Rick but he's a bricklayer which is why he's called Rick the Brick <laughs> um, 
his case was he'd been living with this woman for I think it was I think he said 18 months now he'd built a extension on the house he'd put a garage put a patio on the front because a brick layer um, he had done the conservatory on the back of the house he'd invested over 30,000 pounds with this woman he was living with she was still with an ex-partner of some description I'm not sure that she was married to him or whatever but <coughs> Case, case being, Rick the Bricks come in from work, goes to put his key in the lock, doesn't turn. This is in Worcester in the UK. Locks have been changed while he was out at work. Finds out she's gone back with her ex. He's just lost everything he invested in the house. Goes to court, because he did take it to court. And the court case turned around, because he was in the pub the, <laughs> at the, after the court, which is where we had this conversation. Um, he said that he did it for love. That was the, that was the judge. <laughs> that was the, the judge's response. He just wasted over thirty thousand pounds and his time um, for love, and that's what he said it was the most expensive. Let's just say the F word he had ever had. <laughs> um, so don't just say, "Oh, this is the Philippines." Blah, blah, blah. The stuff that happens in the West is very similar in many ways. So the the point is. Don't assume it's greener pastures. Um, a lot of stuff still happens, but also you got to bear in mind. Although the you, the, the Philippines can be more male dominant, you don't have the rights as the Filipino males in the sense that you cannot own the land. You cannot own the land it sits on. Now, even if he tries and contests that he's done this construction on the house, or whatever. By the time he actually does something with that, I'm sure the house is already gone. Because I think the woman's actually already sold it. Because um, she had a final payment on it. So she, she's off. She's sold it. Chance of getting money back is zero. Um, but also, even so, you've got that thing where you say, well, I didn't tell him to do it. He did it because he loved me. Did you have anything in the paper that said you had shared ownership? No. Did you have anything that actually says that he's partially involved with the property, so should get anything from it? No. Um, one of the things that I will say about myself is I'm named on all the deeds. Even though I have no legal ownership, I am still named on all the deeds of the lands that we have in the Philippines. So, just a bit of thought here. Be aware that you can give everything up for love. <laughs> <laughs> um, if she's married it's going to be complicated but also from the cases I've seen in the Philippines the women couldn't care less about the guys um, as soon as that money was there bang that off switch the smile went taking your money sleep sleep no problem I'm a Catholic I go, I go to church <laughs> I go, go to go to confession say all my sins and then I'm happy by Monday um, it's couldn't care less really couldn't there was a Japanese guy that was marrying somebody else's sister so, sorry somebody uh, somebody I know's sister but she was already married he found out and then he's like oh what's happening uh, he'd already bought land for over a million pesos but she's just like it's in her name she couldn't give her monkeys she sold it guy even to the face she couldn't care less there's nothing you can do about it you ain't gonna get the money back she sold the land blah 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 so what and it won't be the first the, the last time she'll do it why because it worked it was very easy to take that money from a foreign guy and it worked and there was nothing he could do about it nothing the legal system will do about it no fraud protection or anything else that's going to jump out and say well there they'll go you did it for love these are the downsides and this is why you need to be a bit more switched on than you normally are um, I don't mean that in a negative way I mean in the sense is when you see that woman that you love and you've got all that oh she's so great you still got to think hang on a minute let's be sensible here if I lost everything today where am I going to be um, out on the street okay let's rent a place not buy one uh, let's not invest heavily in something let's take a bit of time let's take a couple of years and 
get into the relationship like a good comfy chair. Good office chair takes a good bit of time to work all the uh, creases out and get it so it's comfortable. That's what you need to do with a relationship. You know when somebody swapped your chair, if you work in an office with a nice chair, because when you sit in it, it's just not right. And that's like relationships, where they, when there's something not right, you will find out sooner or later. If she's married, like I said, I would walk away. I wouldn't even think about it. Unless unless the, the husband's deceased or whatever. Um, I would just play everything by ear. I wouldn't over-invest in anything. I would just be extremely careful to protect yourself. Um, I know I said before about only invest what you're prepared to lose. And I actually mean that. I mean, my, myself with the assets I have in the Philippines... They're, as far as I'm concerned, it's my wife's. I'm not. I'm not really fussed. I've got two kids with a wife anyway. So, worst case scenario, if something happened, they've got enough stuff to keep them going. They've got apartments to rent out. There's a small call center. Um, I don't see it as important to me. Um, but at the same time, I know I can go out and make money without any hindrance. I'm not uh, coming up for retirement. I've still got another 20 years. So bear that in mind. And don't get angry about it. If it happens to you, just take it on the chin. You've been ripped off. You've been shafted. But move on with it. Um, you're going to just waste time and effort trying to recover stuff. Spend an, spend like a thousand pesos or whatever. Go and visit a lawyer. See what a lawyer will say. But you're probably getting the same advice from me for free. Um, that you're basically going to get ripped off. If he actually says, oh, let's fight the case anyway, blah, 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 see what happens, um, I would leave the office. It's just going to cost you more money. Thanks for watching.